Hello and welcome to the history of Star Wars. Today's episode, the Super Star Destroyer. And here we go. The Super Star Destroyer was an umbrella term used by both the Galactic Empire and the Alliance to restore the Republic to refer to several classes of massive Imperial vessels larger than Imperial Star Destroyers, of which was the Executor class Star Dreadnought. Around the time of the Battle of Endor in for ABY, Rebel Alliance Intelligence Service estimated that the Empire had more than a dozen Super Star Destroyers, including Darth Vader's flagship, Executor, the Annihilator, the Arbitrator, Emperor Palpatine's personal ship, Eclipse, and the Ravager. However, the true number remained a subject of debate. Following the Battle of Endor, Alliance analysis endeavored to make sense of the Imperial propaganda and investigate the Black Budgets, which concealed the late Emperor's secret weapons program. Vader's flagship, Executor, was destroyed during the Battle of Endor when an RZ-1 A-Wing interceptor crashed into its command bridge, ultimately sending it crashing into the second Death Star. By 5 ABY, Grand Admiral Re Sloan estimated, based on a study of Imperial Navy records on Coruscant, that the Empire had 13 Star Destroyers, including Dreadnoughts, in service before the second Death Star was destroyed. These included Vader's lost flagship Executor and her own command ship Ravager which was actually commanded by Fleet Admiral Gallus Rax. Studying the register, she also discovered that the Rebel Alliance's successor, the New Republic, had captured three Super Star Destroyers. Of these ships, two admirals had surrendered their vessels and personnel, while the third had been stolen by the New Republic forces while undergoing repairs above Quad. Saloni also discovered that the New Republic forces had also destroyed another five Super Star Destroyers in combat by taking advantage of the ship's understaffed crew and poor maneuverability. Grand General Taggy's former flagship, the Annihilator, was taken over by pirates. Meanwhile, the Arbitrator was destroyed by a gravity well while making a bad hyperspace calculation in an effort to evade New Republic ships. While the Emperor's flagship, Eclipse, had reportedly been destroyed by the New Republic Defense Fleet, Salone discovered that the report did not match the vessel's black box recording. As a result, she deduced that the ship had mysteriously disappeared. The Ravager was destroyed during the Battle of Jakku, when the New Republic's Starhawk-class battleship, Concord, managed to use its powerful tractor beam to drag the Super Star Destroyer into Jakku's surface. The Annihilator was rechristened as the Liberty's Misrule, which became the capital ship of the sovereign latitudes of Myra Carvania, a pirate state based in wild space. In an effort to curry favor with the New Republic, they used the Liberty's Misrule to attack three Imperial II-class Star Destroyers, fleeing Jakku. Later, Sloan traveled with others into the unknown regions and rendezvoused with the Eclipse in uncharted space. Hey, thank you for watching the history of Star Wars. Special thanks to Wikipedia and its contributors for all information you heard today. Very special thanks to my Patreon and to Royalty Free Tube for this fantastic background. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit the bell, leave a comment, do whatever. These things really help the channel grow. Thank you and have a great day. Bye-bye.